Welcome to the video tutorial for rustic stripes. The fingerless gloves are snug and cozy with a ribbed cuff and just the right amount of texture. There's also a coordinating hat and I have a written pattern for that and I'll put a link in the description for that um, hat pattern. The hat is worked top down while the gloves are worked from the cuff up. Using pretty basic crochet stitches, there's a couple that aren't quite so basic. We'll go over those as we get to them in the pattern. I'm using two colors of yarn, and I'll be referring to them as color number one and color number two. If you're ready, let's begin. We're going to be starting with the cuff. I'm using a bulky yarn, which is a number five, and I have an eight millimeter hook. We're going to start with a chain 11. Um, this will give us about a two and a half inch cuff. If you prefer a longer or shorter cuff, you can adjust your stitches accordingly. But I'm doing a chain 11, which will give us 10 stitches for our cuff. So we've worked a chain 11, and we're going to simply place a single crochet in each of the chains back down. That'll give us a stitch count of 10. So simply going to be placing one single crochet in each chain back down. Again, if you prefer a longer cuff or a shorter cuff, you can do um, 12 or 13 chains or maybe 8 or 9. But with this number 5 bulky yarn, doing 11 chains and then um, 10 single crochets back down, is going to give us a cuff length of about two and a half inches. So we've chained 11. We're working back down with one single crochet in each chain. Let's see. Almost there. I think this is nine. It always tightens up on me. But one single crochet each chain back down. Okay, got one more. Boy, this last one's always hard to get into. Okay, here's number 10. There. So we have 10 single crochets. This will be the width of our cuff. Okay, so we chained 11 and then worked back down with one single crochet in each, and we have 10. We're going to chain one, turn our work. Now the first stitch and the last stitch will be regular single crochets. First and last, regular single crochets. The ones in the middle will be working in the back loop. Um, let's see if you can see this. There's the front loop and back loop. We'll be working in the back loop only in those middle stitches, those middle eight. But the first stitch will be a regular single crochet, just like you always do. Now the next eight stitches will be in this back loop. There's the front, there's the back. You just insert your hook in that back loop, pull up your yarn, and work a regular single crochet. So each of these next eight stitches are back loop single crochet. Only the first stitch and the last stitch are regular single crochets. And by working in the back loop like this, that's what gives the cuff that nice ribbed look that we like so much. So I started off with a regular single crochet in the first stitch. Now I'm working single crochet back loop only on the next eight stitches. I think I have one more. Yeah, back loop only single crochet. Okay, now I'm at the end again. So we'll put a regular single crochet on the end like you normally would work a single crochet, not back loop, but through both of the, um, the pieces of yarn. Okay, so there's our first little piece of cuff. And we'll do this each uh, row the same way. Chain one, you turn your work, and then the first and last stitches are regular single crochets. The middle stitches are gonna be in that back loop only. I'll work a few rows and then uh, come back to you and show you how it looks. Okay, I've worked 12 or 13 rows and you can see um, how it's the cuff starting to take shape here. Um, it's so much easier now to show you what I'm doing since there's something to hold on to. So I just wanted to show you one more time. 
that first stitch is a regular single crochet, then the middle eight stitches, we do the single crochet back loop only, and then the final stitch again is a regular single crochet. So you can see how um, doing it like this gives us that nice, cozy, stretchy, ribbed cuff that we love so much. So I'm doing single crochet back loop only in those middle eight stitches with a regular single crochet on the first stitch and a regular single crochet on the last stitch. So that's stitch number nine. Now I'm at the end. We'll do a regular single crochet again, like that. You chain one, you turn your work, you do it again. I'm gonna be doing about 26 rows and I'll pick you up when I get to the end. Okay, here's my 26 rows of cuff, nice and ribbed. We're going to bring the two short ends together and we're going to slip stitch through both um, sides to join the cuff together. So all you do is you place your hook into the first stitch on this side, place it in the first stitch on that side, you'll grab your yarn, you'll pull it through both pieces, and you do a slip stitch like that. So put it in your second stitch on this side, line it up so you go through the second stitch on that side, if I can get it in there, pull your yarn, slip stitch like that. And we'll do that on all 10 stitches across. That way um, it'll be nice and even. Once you finish uh, going across with your slip stitches, turn it inside out and we'll get started on our glove. Okay, I finished slip stitching my ends together and I turned it right side out. Now we're going to be placing a single crochet, um, one for each row of your cuff. For me, that'll be 26. And we'll do that all the way around. And the way I kind of gauge it to make it even, I'll put one single crochet stitch for every indented part and then every raised part because each of those represents a row. I hope that makes sense. So one single crochet here in the indented part, another single crochet in the raised part. Do this all the way around. We'll slip stitch to join at the end and we're gonna be changing colors. So I'll pick you up for that. Okay, so we finished our row of um, single crochet with our cuff color and we're ready to start the body of our glove. So we're going to change colors, put your yarn, your hook through that first chain, grab your new color with your hook, pull it through, pull it through that last um, loop, and pull it tight. You got to kind of hold it. And then go ahead and sort of anchor it off like that. So we've changed colors to color number two, which for me is white. All right, so for row one, Super simple way to start. We're going to do a regular half double crochet in each stitch around. Just place one half double crochet in each stitch, which for me is 26. You might have a little more or a little less, but mine's 26. Now this um, pattern, the glove pattern and the hat too, the coordinating hat, is a five row repeat. Um, we'll have three rows of white, color number two, and then two rows of um, the gray, color number one. This row is a little bit different because it's a regular half double crochet. Um, but anyway, so this row number one, super simple, half double crochet each stitch around. We're gonna stay with white at the end, so you'll slip stitch to join in our chain, but I'll pick you up there um, to finish off this row. Okay, I'm at the end of row one. We've been doing a half double crochet in each stitch. I've got two stitches left, so this for me is 25, regular half double crochet, and 26. Now we're gonna slip stitch to join in this first chain here, and we're staying with our color number two, so a simple join like that. And there's the end of row one. I'll see you for row two.
Okay, so for row two, we've stayed with our color number two, which for me is white. Um, we'll go ahead and chain one. Now this row, we're going to be working in the post, not in the stitch, but the post underneath the stitch. And we're going to be alternating front post half double crochet and back post half double crochet. So a lot of y'all probably know how to do that, but for the ones who don't, I will show you. It's super simple. You yarn over, and instead of going into the stitch for the front post, you stick it in beside the stitch and under that post. You grab your yarn, you pull it up, you finish it off like a regular half double crochet. The back post is the same thing, you just go through the back. Yarn over, go through the back of your work into that little space around your post, grab your yarn, pull it back through around your post, and work your half double crochet. So we're gonna do a front post half double crochet, back post half double crochet, all the way around. I'll show you one more time. Yarn over, you're gonna go into that space right there from the front and just behind your, the post. You grab your yarn, pull it behind the post, finish off your half double crochet. There's your front post. Back post, same thing, just from the back. Wrap your yarn around, go in from the back side, up and around that post, grab your yarn, pull it back out, finish your half double crochet. So my lighting looks funny. I hope y'all can see this. So all the way around, we're going to alternate front post half double crochet, back post half double crochet, front post half double crochet, back post half double crochet, each stitch around. Uh, we're going to join in this chain. I'll pick you up to show you, and we're going to stay with this white um, yarn. So that's going to be easy. So just alternate front and back post half double crochet in each stitch around. If you have an even number, which is, that's why I said it, it's good to have an even number on this, you'll end with a back post half double crochet. You'll start with the front post, you'll end with the back post. And to me, that just seems right. So I'll pick you up here at the end and uh, we'll finish off this row. Okay, here we are at the end of row two where we're doing a front post half double crochet and then a back post half double crochet. And I got two stitches left, so my last two, 25, will be a front post half double crochet and then 26 is a back post half double crochet. Like that. So we have front post, back post all the way around. We're going to join in this first chain right here. Grab it, pull it through. And that's the end of row number two. I'll see you for three. Okay, for row three, we're staying with our yarn number two. We'll go ahead and chain one. And we're going to do the same thing all over again. Front post half double crochet, back post half double crochet. So it'll be easier this time. You can kind of see the post a little better around each stitch. A lot of patterns, they have you alternate. Like where there was a front post, you do a back post. But on this one, we're doing it exactly the same way. So you start off with the front post, half double crochet, followed by a back post, half double crochet, just like we did before. And to me, I mean, we count everything, right? We crocheters count everything. And if you're like me, I can't hardly count to two without getting confused. So on the front and back post, an easy way for me to remember which one I'm on, even though you can kind of tell by looking at it, front post are gonna be your odd numbers, back post are gonna be your even numbers. And that might sound really stupid, but it helps, it helps with me. So this is stitch number three, odd number, I know that's a front post. And then stitch number four is an even number. I know that's a back post. Okay, that's just how I do it. So we're gonna do it all the way around just like before. Front post, half double, back post, half double. Front post, half double, back post, half double. All the way around. When we get to the end um, and slip stitch to join, we're gonna go back to our color number one. So I'll show you how I do that one more time. I won't show you each row, but I'll show you one more time. So finish off your front, um, front and back post half double crochets. I'll pick you up here at the end to join.
Okay, we're at the end of row three, and we've done our second row of the front and back post half double crochets. I'm on the very end here, 26, so that I'm ending oops, with a back post half double crochet. All right, we're going to slip stitch to join in this chain like we've been doing, but again, we're going to change back to our yarn number one, which for me is the gray. So put your hook through that chain, grab your new yarn, grab it with your hook, pull it through, pull it through, pull it tight, and sort of anchor it like that. So that's the end of row three where we've joined to our new um, color, which is color number one. So I'll pick you up for row four. Okay, we're on row four. We've switched back to our color number one, which for me is gray. Um, go ahead and chain one. And we're going to start um, the first of our two rows in this color. So this first row, super simple. We're just going to do a regular half double crochet in each stitch around. So again, for me, that's 26. Yours might be a little more, a little less, depending on the size of your cuff, but super simple. Half double crochet in each stitch around. When you get back to the end here, you'll join in the chain. We're gonna stick with this color number one. So go ahead and do that. Half double crochet each stitch around, join in your chain, keep in our color, and I'll pick you up for row five. Okay, we're on row five. We've done a row of just regular half double crochet in each stitch. We slip stitch to join. We stayed with our color number one. Let's go ahead and chain one. Now, if any of y'all have seen any of my other videos, you know I have to use this next stitch. It's my very favorite. It's a half double crochet third loop, and we're gonna do that in each stitch around. So for those of y'all who are new to half double crochet third loop, I will show you. Here's your regular stitch thing, your front loop here, your back loop. If you pull it towards you, you can see this third loop right there. I hope you can see that. You have your front loop, you have your back loop, you pull it towards you, and it's kind of a diagonal, it sort of pops up. That's your third loop. We're gonna be working a half double crochet, third loop, in each stitch around. So it's just like a regular half double crochet, except you just go into that third loop right there. Pull it up, work your half double crochet. Yarn over, pull it towards you. There's that third loop. Work a regular half double crochet. So we're gonna be placing one half double crochet, third loop, each stitch around. For me, that's 26, again. Um, and the reason I love this stitch is because it gives you this raised kind of stitch and it just adds just the right amount of texture. It's not too much, it's not too little, and I really, really love this stitch. We're going to be using it a lot. So half double crochet in that third loop right there. hope you can see it all the way around. When you get to the end, we're going to join in the chain like we've been doing. We're going to switch back to our yarn number two for the next three rows. So half double crochet, third loop, all the way around, joined it um, in your chain right here to your yarn number two. So I'll pick you up for row six. Okay, we're gonna start row six. We finished our um, Half double crochet, third loop in each stitch around, and we changed back to our color number two. So we're gonna start our repeat again with the three rows of white. Um, this first one, we did a regular half double crochet because we couldn't do a third loop into the single crochet. Now we have a third uh, half double crochet to work into, so we will do half double crochet, third loop again, just like our last row, except in a different color. 
So half double crochet, third loop, each stitch around. I think, and I'm no expert, but I think you can only do a third loop stitch after you've done a row of half double crochet. Doesn't have to be a half double crochet third loop. You could do a single crochet third loop or a double crochet third loop, but it has to follow a half double crochet row. So hope that makes sense. Anyway, half double crochet third loop, just like we did before with our color number two in each stitch around. And we're gonna stay with this color for the next two rows so you won't be switching colors. So one half double crochet, third loop, each stitch around, join in your chain, stay with your white, and I'll pick you up for the row seven. Okay, so for row seven, we're gonna repeat these two rows down here where we did the front post half double crochet and back post half double crochet. So we're gonna do two more rows of that just like we did before. So go ahead and chain one and we'll start with the front post in the front, half double crochet, followed by the working from the back side, the back post, half double crochet. So we're gonna do that each stitch around, alternating between front post half double crochet and then back post half double crochet, just like we did on the two rows previously. So we're gonna do this all the way around. We'll slip stitch to join in our chain, staying with white, and then we'll do this row again, just like we did down here, alternating front post and back post half double crochets all the way around. So get back to the end, join with your chain, chain one and then do this row again for um, row eight, front and back post half double crochet. Now at the end of row eight, we're gonna join back into our yarn one. So I'm gonna pick you up at the end of row eight. So finish row seven with front and back post half double crochets, slip stitch to join in your chain, chain one, do it again, and then I'll pick you up at the end of that row, row number eight. Okay, I'm at the end of row eight. We've done two rows of the front and back post half double crochets, row seven and row eight. So I'm at the end of row eight. Um, I've got two more stitches. So my 25th is a front post um, half double crochet and my 26th is a back post half double crochet. Okay, so we've done two rows of front and back post half double crochets like we did down here. And like down here, we're going to slip stitch to join in our chain, but we're changing back to color number one. So grab your yarn, pull it through, pull it through, pull it all tight, and there you go. All right, that's the end of row seven and eight, and I'll pick you up for row nine. Okay, so for row nine, we've changed back to our color number one, and we're gonna simply repeat these two rows again. So we're gonna do this whole repeat one more time uh, before we start finishing off the glove. So um, we'll go ahead and chain one, if I haven't already, and we're gonna place a half double crochet in each stitch around. Super, super simple. One regular old half double crochet, not third loop, back loop, just half double crochet in each stitch around. Um, so do that, one half double crochet each stitch around. When you get to the end, slip stitch to join in your chain. We're gonna stay with our gray, our color number one for our next row. So half double crochet each stitch around, slip stitch to join in your chain, and I'll see you for row 10. Okay, so for row 10, we're sticking with our yarn number one. We'll go ahead and chain, and we're gonna repeat this row down here again, which is our half double crochet in the third loop. So there's that third loop again. 
Um, we're over halfway done and the next few rows we're going to kind of speed through because it's just a repeat of what we've already done. Uh, but I'll, I'll show you each row. We're just going to do it pretty quickly. So row 10 is a half double crochet, third loop, each stitch around, makes that pretty ridge. Um, when you get to the end, we'll slip stitch to join in our chain like we've been doing and we'll switch back to our color number two. So half double crochet, third loop, each stitch around, join with your chain to your color number two. And I'll pick you up for that. Okay, we finished our row of half double crochet third loop in color number one. We joined with our color number two and we're on row 11. We'll go ahead and chain and we're gonna be repeating these three rows again. So we'll have a row of half double crochet third loop and then two rows of the front and back post half double crochets. Um, so sometimes I have to do it in that back loop for the first one. But this row, again, is a half double crochet, third loop, each stitch around. We're in our color number two. This will be our last repeat of these rows. And then we'll finish off um, with our thumb slit and just the end of the glove. We just have a few more rows to go. So half double crochet, third loop, each stitch around. We're gonna do two more rows in this color, so when you join with your chain at the end, we'll stay with this color. So half double crochet, third loop, join with your chain. I'll pick you up for rows 12 and 13, where we'll be repeating our front and back post half double crochets. So see you for row 12. Okay, so for rows 12 and 13, we're going to repeat these front and back post half double crochet rows one last time. We're closing in on our glove, folks. Go ahead and chain one, and like I said, we're going to repeat these two rows again with the front post half double crochet, um, followed by the half, back post half double crochet. We're going to alternate that in each stitch around, front post half double crochet, Oh, if I can get in there. And then the next stitch is a half uh, back post half double crochet. So we're going to do this all the way around, join with your chain, and then do it again, just like we've done in this, these sections. We'll have two rows of the front and back post half double crochets. So 12 is what we're on. You'll join, stay with your white. Row 13 is another row of the front and back post half double crochets. I'll pick you up at the end of 13 where we're changing colors again and we're going to do our um, little thumb slip row. So I'll see you for the end of row 13. Okay, I've gotten to the end of um, row 13. We've done two rows of the front and back post half double crochets. I just thought I'd show you one more time how we're going to switch colors. Go into that first chain. I've already cut my yarn. Grab your new color. Pull it through. Pull it through that loop. Pull it tight. Get your new yarn. And finish it off like that. Okay. Let's just go ahead and jump in to row 14, which is where we're going to have a little place for our thumb in our glove. Okay, so the beginning of row 14, we've changed colors again. Go ahead and chain one. Um, so we have to have a place for our thumb in these gloves. So what we're going to do is then the first three stitches we're going to play oops we're going to place a regular half double crochet in the first three stitches now for your other hand it's opposite and i go over that in the written pattern um, this is for 
your left hand. So for your right hand, it's a little bit different. And again, that's in the written pattern. But we'll start here with three regular half double crochets. Okay, now we're gonna chain four, just straight out, one, two, three, four. So now we have to skip four stitches. So one, two, three, four. In this fifth stitch, we'll pick up um, our half double crochet stitch again. And it's kind of weird because you're sort of out in the middle of nowhere right there. But see, here's our little thumb where our thumb will go. So we did three half double crochets, chained four, skipped four, and then picked back up with your half double crochet. And we'll finish out the row just doing a half double crochet in each stitch around. Now at the end of this row, we're gonna stay with this color yarn. So join with your chain, stay with your color number one, and I'll see you for row um, 15. Okay, so we're on row 15. We just finished our row where we have our little thumb slit, so we have to, to work our way around that. We're almost at the end. We'll go ahead and chain one. And last row, we did three double crochet, or half double crochets, and then the chains. We're gonna be working in the third loop again where we can. So these first three stitches, we'll do half double crochet third loop. So one, two, and three. All right, so on these chain stitches, there is no third loop. So we'll just do a half double crochet in each of these chain stitches, a regular half double crochet. So we'll do this four times, one, Two, three, and four. So a regular half double crochet in each of those four chain stitches. Okay, so now we're back with our half double crochets from the previous row. So now we can pick up that third loop again. There it is. So for the remainder of the row, we'll do half double crochet third loop like we started. So this row we did, we started with three half double crochets in the third loop. Then we did four just regular half double crochets across this chain, these chain spaces. Then we picked back up with the half double crochet third loop. And we'll finish off this row with the remaining stitches, half double crochet third loop. Now when you finish this row, get back to the end, and you uh, slip stitch to join, we're going back to our color number two, and we only have two more rows to go. So finish off uh, three, first, uh, first three or half double crochet third loop, then four regular half double crochets across those chains, then pick back up with your half double crochet third loop all the way around, join in the chain, chain to uh, change to white, and I'll see you for row 16, and we'll finish this thing off. Okay, we're on row 16. We just have two rows to go. We just finished off where we'll have our little thumb slit. And like I said before, um, in the written pattern that's linked to in the description, there's a subtle change for um, this row, which makes the thumb slit more on this side. I mean, you can make two just like this and it, it's fine, but um, I found that this one is good for the left hand. And when I tried this one on my right hand, the seam kind of fell in a weird place. So in the written description, it gives a little bit of an alternate row for this thumb row where the slit is on this side instead of this side. So just wanted to, to tell you that. All right, we'll go ahead for row 16. We've changed back to our color number two. We're chain one, we only have two rows to go. We're gonna finish off with this color, working in um, doing another row of half double crochet third loop. 
Um, by now, this should be a piece of cake because we've done this stitch so many times. So each stitch around, every single stitch with our yarn number two, we're doing a, um, a half double crochet in the third loop around. Easy, easy, easy. When you get to the end of this row 16, you'll slip stitch to join in your chain. We'll go back to our color number one for one final row. So half double crochet, third loop, each stitch around, join in your chain to your color number one, and I'll see you for our final row, row 17. Okay, we've changed back to our color number one. We're on our final row, which is row 17. Go ahead and chain one. I'm having a heck of a time holding on to this yarn for some reason. Our final row is super simple, but it's a stitch we haven't used since down in the cuff. We're going to be doing a single crochet in the back loop all the way around. I think this gives it a nice finished edge. So here's the front loop and the back loop. Put your hook just in that back loop and work your single crochet. It's the same stitch we did when we were working our cuff at the very beginning. So one single crochet in the back loop all the way around. When you finish, you will um, slip stitch to join and just secure your, um, your yarn, cut it off, and we'll be done. I'll pick you up there at the very, very end. Okay, this is our final row. We've been putting a single crochet in the back loop all the way around. This is my final stitch, single crochet back loop only. I'm gonna slip stitch to join in that first chain. If I can get it through, wouldn't you know, my last stitch. Cut the yarn. I'm going to go ahead and pull it through, pull it tight. And guess what? We're done. We are done with our glove. Here it is. It's got just the right amount of texture with our um, half double crochet third loop rows. It's got a little bit of texture with our front and back post half double crochets and a really snug ribbed cuff. I think it looks wonderful. What do y'all think? And remember, there's also a coordinating hat. There'll be a link in the description to the written pattern for both the hat and the fingerless gloves. And here's the completed set for the Rustic Stripes hat and gloves. Quick, fun, and easy. I hope you've enjoyed making these fingerless gloves as much as I've enjoyed showing you how. If you'd like this tutorial, please share it with your crochet friends. And don't forget to subscribe. There'll always be more to come. Until then... Happy hooking!